Camera Fusion has six clip editors that enable you to edit your media in different ways. Frame and fit to change the position and add motion to your media. Speed and reverse to adjust the speed of a video so it plays faster or slower. Stabilization to make handheld shaky videos a lot smoother. Audio to control your clip's volume as well as other elements like panning and ducking colour and effects to add a whole host of visual effects like blurs, distortions and chroma key, and the title editor to create multi-layer titles like opening graphics and Aston bars. To access the clip editors, double tap on the clip you want to edit on the timeline or select and tap the edit button on the timeline toolbar. Each type of media on the timeline will display only the applicable editors for that type of media. In this example, I selected a title, so I'll be able to access the title editor as well as the frame and fit and color and effects, as these are the changes I could potentially make to a title. When I go back and select a video with audio, you can see I now have access to frame and fit, speed and reverse, stabilization, audio, and color and effects. To switch between the available editors, tap on the desired icon across the bottom of the screen. These will expand to tell you the clip editor you're in and therefore the attributes of your clip you'll be affecting in that specific clip editor. Each editor is laid out in a similar fashion to help you navigate around them with ease. We have the preview, the presets and the control stack. The preview enables you to see the clip you've selected and any changes you make to it in the clip editors. It often allows for interactive editing, such as when you need to position and animate your clips in the frame and fit editor, or perhaps control an effect with a center point in the color and effects editor. As the preview is where you pay close attention to the visuals of a specific clip, take note of the zoom navigator here, which will allow you to zoom into your preview for either a closer look at a specific area or out, which is great for creating animations that start off screen. Regardless of which clip editor you're in, you'll notice below the preview is this line that represents the duration of the selected clip on the timeline. This is called the scrubber. Slide left and right here to move forward and backward through your clip, or tap anywhere on the scrubber to jump to that time. The scrubber is where you'll add keyframes to your clip when making gradual changes over time, using the animation icon here. Anytime you use keyframes in the clip editors, check out the Ease Editor icon here. This enables you to add easing onto your keyframed effect, where you'll be controlling the rate of change that's taking place in and out of your keyframes. Back to the scrubber, the jump back and jump forward arrows underneath enable you to quickly jump between keyframes and the beginning and end of the clip. The step back and step forward icons move you one frame at a time, allowing you to get really specific with your editing. Tap and hold any of these icons to slowly or quickly move through your media one frame at a time. Tap the play icon to begin playback and press again to pause. By double tapping the play button, you'll begin loop play, so the clip will play again and again until you stop it. If you tap and hold the play icon, you'll open the incremental scrubber, which lets you move slowly through your footage. The further you move left or right, the faster the scrubbing. Forward to the right and backward to the left. The three time codes below show firstly the current position of the playhead in the context of the project timeline. The time code in the middle is the current time within the current clip dictated by the position of the playhead here, and the time code on the right is the duration of the clip. Any clip editor that allows for keyframed motion can also make use of the path editor here, which gives editors the ability to create smooth curved paths for their animations. To close the zoom navigator or path editor, simply tap their icons at the top of the screen. If you're working with more than one layer of media on the timeline and it's getting a bit confusing as to which clip you're working on, Tap the solo view button in the clip editors to show only the current timeline layer in the preview. Tap again to show all timeline layers. The hide button here will do the opposite and hide the current layer. Great for when you need to see what's behind the clip you've selected. 
In the preview of the audio clip editor, if you're working with more than one layer of audio, tap the solo headphones button to isolate and hear only the clip you've selected. Tap again to hear all the layers. You can also tap the mute button to mute the current layer if you need a quick way to hear what's playing at the same time as your selected clip on the timeline. The presets in your clip editors are always found at the top right of the interface. These are a saved group of settings or attributes relevant to the clip editors you're working in that can be accessed at the tap of a button, enabling you to make changes fast. These have been made by the LumaTouch team, but if you want to create your own presets for use time and time again, use the Save Preset icon found in all of the clip editors to save the changes you've made to your clip, which can be applied to a different piece of media later on. All of these presets can be used as they are, or modified here in the control stack to suit your project's needs. The control stack shows the attributes of your clip in the current clip editor and is where you'll make changes to your media. Just tap on an attribute and it will open and you can use the sliders or numeric keypad to make changes to your clip. All of the editors have set attributes that you can dive into, except the color and effects editor where the control stack is determined by the effects you apply to your clip. You can add multiple effects here, thus building a stack of effects which can be reordered to achieve your desired look. Take the time to explore these powerful clip editors and you'll have everything you need to fine tune your media and create stunning professional quality edits. So dive in, experiment and let your creativity take the lead. Yeah.